I was born in a family of 11 children. One bedroom was for my mother and father. The other bedroom was for my seven sisters. So there were no more bedrooms. So myself and my three brothers had to sleep on the wooden floor and we were bitten by rats and roaches crawled over our bodies. And mosquitoes were our best friends. We would wake up with roaches all over our bodies. I remember many times we couldn't sleep because of the mosquitoes. And we lived that way, but we were very happy because we didn't know we were poor. And I remember my mother and father telling us that we must learn the Bible no matter how difficult life became. And they would teach us from this book about God and about Jesus Christ and about his sacrifice for us. And as kids, we, we grew up with those conditions. And as you grow older, you begin to question, why are we poor? Because you begin to see other people's lifestyles. And, and I remember crying out to God one time at age 13. I said, if you exist, you got to speak to me and explain this to me. His answer was simple. He says, because of your mind. That began a journey for me. I surrendered my life to God that night at age 13. I never went back. At age 14, I wrote on paper everything I wanted to be and to do. Today, I am doing those things. And something happened between sleeping on the floor and flying my own jet today. Now, what happened is I had a mental transformation. Nothing changes until your mind changes. You can change your clothes and still have the whole mind. You can change your location and still have the old mind. You can change your house and still have the old mind. Nothing changes until your mind changes. It taught me that nothing was impossible. So my whole life was changed because I fed myself new information which changed my concept of me. And I discovered things like this. The greatest tragedy in life is not death. Some people think that when someone dies, that's the worst thing that can happen to you. That's not true. I discovered that the greatest tragedy in life is not death but it's life without a purpose it is more tragic to be alive and not know why than to be dead and not know life because when you are alive you got to explain what you're doing with your hours with your minutes with your energy with your talents with your time you got to explain why am I here and what did I do last week with my life most people are living as an experiment. Nothing changes until your mind changes.